wait, wait, wait. Don't try to adjust your computer. You're seeing me correct. If you've been trying to conceive for a while, you know exactly what I'm doing. If you're still at the beginning stages of trying to conceive, you're still in the honeymoon stage, and I hope that this is the only stage that you ever have to see. You're probably laying in bed cuddled up next to your husband. However, if you are like me, and you're heading on into month 14 of trying to conceive, then your husband's already back in the living room playing video games, and you are either A, laying on your bed with about five pillows propped up under your ass, or if things have hit this level, you're upside down. Whether you're upside down or you're laying flat, you're either reading a book, watching TV, or doing what I'm doing, Facebook in. So you're on Facebook, updating your status, not letting them know the position that you are in, when suddenly... Okay, so you just read the text message, and your best friend just sent you that she's got something important to tell you. The chick is pregnant, and she wants to tell you. If you're still in the beginning stages of trying to conceive, go ahead. Call her back. Let her tell you her exciting news and be genuinely happy for her. If you are well into your 14th month of trying to conceive, hearing that news is probably giving you a little bit of heartburn to go along with the headache that you just gave yourself from sitting upside down for an hour. Now, I actually just received a similar text message earlier this week. Part of me really wanted to be a good friend and text her back right away, what's the big news, so that she could happily tell me she was pregnant. But I had a feeling that she would probably just call me back instead of responding to the text. And then I'd have to go through this whole fake happy on the phone. And what I mean by fake happy is not that you're not happy for your friend, but when you're kind of crumbling inside because you're extremely jealous and sad that it's not happening for you, sometimes it's hard to squash down that jealous feeling and sound genuinely happy and excited for your friend. And you don't want to burst into tears and and rain on her parade. So you have two options. Now, you can either ignore the phone call until you've gotten over those jealous feelings, had a good cry, and then call her back and be genuinely excited for her. Or you can just wait for her to announce it on Facebook, which is the way that I decided to go. Initially, my plan was to just have a good cry, wait a week or two, and then text her back. But she couldn't wait to tell her news, and I don't blame her. She posted it on Facebook today, and sure enough, she is pregnant. And while I am very excited for her, I am very sad for myself. Make matters even a little bit more heart-wrenching, her news actually really was big news. Not only is she pregnant, but she found out she was pregnant with twins. It was kind of a double punch to the stomach. <laughs> Neil and I are in our two week wait right now. However, I have already taken a pregnancy test and it came out negative. So I'm pretty sure this month is a bust for us and we are heading on in to month 14 of trying to conceive. That's right, we are well past a year of trying to conceive. If you're in this situation, there's lots of different ways that you can be happy for your friend. Like I said, give yourself some time. You don't have to respond to those text messages or calls right away. Part of me wishes that I would have called a little bit sooner so that I could have heard her excitement over the phone and especially that she wanted to tell me before she told the world. I mean, it really does make me feel special, but it just wasn't something that I could handle and I really don't like doing the fake happy. I like being genuinely, genuinely happy and I just wasn't ready this week to be genuinely happy. So I decided to wait till next week, but she did post it on Facebook and I'm so happy for her and I'm actually really happy that I was able to congratulate her on Facebook and not have to do it over the phone or especially not in person. Basically what I'm getting at here today is if you are well into your TTC journey and you find yourself in a situation where a friend or family member is telling you that they are pregnant, don't feel like you have to respond right away. Give yourself some time. If you're not ready until next week or next month to contact them and let them know how happy you are, that's okay. You're not a bad friend. Wait till you can be genuinely excited for them and then contact them and just be happy and excited and just talk about baby stuff. If you're still hopefully in your two week wait, then go ahead and get yourself a non-alcoholic drink, something delicious. Go get yourself a donut, a chocolate one with tons of sprinkles. 
sit down, watch a chick flick, watch some baby mama, watch some pregnancy movies if you want to, or if that's going to make you feel worse, then steer clear of those and just watch something funny. If you're at the end of your two-week wait and it's not looking good, well, then you just have yourself a big old margarita, girl. You deserve it. Do something to make yourself happy and get your mind off of it. Just know that it's okay to be mad. It's okay to be jealous, and it is okay to cry. But just make sure that you do something to pamper yourself. Take your time getting back to your friend or family member, and when you're ready, you'll both be much more happy to share that good news together. I wish all of you who are trying to conceive, whether you're just starting out or whether you're one, two, three years into it, good luck, baby dust to all of you. I love you, and I will see you next time. Bye.